I'm not gonna win I'm not gonna win Okay, so that's Margot's little going to sleep overtired groans. Uh, and I'm just tapping her dummy because usually that makes her take it. Um, I'm just in the car park, about to go into um, the church playgroup. I know, darling. Um, Margot's so overtired. I've just got a really bad feeling about this. I'm really trying to get her to sleep. It's okay, baby girl. Um, so Margot's christening is coming up um, and so you need to you know make a connection to the church before the christening um, so this is like the baby playgroup and I've had a bit of a bloody nightmare with playgroups so far um, so I'm a bit nervous for this um, it's okay but we'll see how we'll see how things go um, and my mum couldn't come with me, but I actually think that may be a good thing. Um, only, I feel like sometimes when you're a young mum, people can, you know, if you're with your mum, people look at you, but like, mm, you know, it's just a young, young single mum with her mum. Okay, this is probably just like a story that I've created for myself and just me being paranoid but anyway i've got this i'm gonna go in it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fun margot's gonna be asleep she's not gonna be overtired everything's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine okay so i've got this really hard 100 so i went in and it was like, you know, like everyone just plays on their own for half an hour and then there's like a church service for the other half hour. Um, and Margot's asleep. Wait, I need to change hands. So Margot's asleep. And I just felt, I don't really know what to do. Like who's going to talk to while she's asleep? So I just said, look, uh, Margot is asleep and I've just got her to sleep. I don't want to wake her up. So I said, would you mind if I just went for a little walk around the block and then came back for the service? Because obviously she'll end up waking up. So and she went, oh yeah, that's fine. So I've gone for a walk around the block. The block's like a beach, so it's pretty nice. But I'm wondering whether to just go get a coffee. Because I mean, she's asleep and you know, we've been for a walk now, it's cold. because this is the church like that there is the church no that's the church there nowhere's open i mean it's a thursday morning why is nothing open Margo's awake, it's now 10 past 10 and it finishes at half 10 so just 20 minutes left so we'll see how this goes but I've oh, had a great morning. <laughs> hey. Now this madam trying to sit up. Trying to sit up? Lie down. Good girl. 
<laughs> I still think I missed out while I was in that cafe. Yeah, Margo had. You probably saw her on the video. But she had a massive burger. So I picked it. Okay. Um, but there was nowhere to wipe it. So I just had to wipe it off the car seat. Obviously, I'm going to wipe it with tissue afterwards. But actually, I can use my wipe. You know, I don't think of these things. I love you. <laughs> oh my god. I've absolutely shut it. Okay, so we are walking back up to the church and I swear to god my voice got insane. He literally couldn't write this. Okay, we've got a bit of apple pie cereal bar in my teeth um that i've just scoffed just got in the car it is seven minutes past 11 so it finished at like 11 so i thought it finished at half past 10 but it didn't so i was actually i actually just have 40 minutes there um which and it was actually really good i um i've had a nightmare with play groups i'm gonna briefly explain that in a minute um so yeah a bit of a nightmare with play groups so far so i was a bit nervous for it um ow my arm's getting tired so everyone was kind of sat in a circle so are you still asleep um so yeah everyone was sat in like a little semi-circle and they were doing like a little service hold the thumb So, huh, still waiting. So she is asleep now. So I came back in, and it was like the service had started. So everyone was just sat and like they were talking to everyone. So obviously, then you're not like with the playgroup. You've got to go in. You've got to like interact and like. I sound really like social awkward. I've just had bad experiences. Okay. Mm, yeah. So it was fine because they were kind of talking to everyone um and you know what i'm not massively religious um not into the bible or you know anything like that but i massively do believe whether it's god whether it's a higher power whatever you want to call it the universe i do believe there's that kind of higher power energy um creator i do believe in all that so i wasn't really sure what it would be like if it would be like a really churchy group because you know I don't I don't go to church so I don't I don't really know what to expect so but it, it was actually I like I said I'm massively into like the law of attraction the universe and that's what I believe a lot of the teachings of religion are um and they were doing a, like a service but they were doing it was about gratitude and it was like a song oh my god it was like thank you to my mummy and daddy thank you to cakes and chocolate and thank you to god it was like that was definitely not how it goes it was so good they were like does anyone know the song i was like mm, no they were like oh well i'm sure you'll pick it up and i was like thank you god yeah oh god. um so <laughs> Margo was like smiling away like you're a lunatic anyway the lessons were like about gratitude and they gave us this little card well we made them so we made little thank you cards and I just, I like that because it's teaching about gratitude is literally the most important thing in the world. So I'm actually quite excited to go back and see what the next topic is because I found that really interesting. Um, so yeah. And it turns out one of my friends was, so one of my friend's children were there with the nanny. Um, so I knew her, so that was good. So I, I spoke to her for a bit, but they, she had, um, they have, a, I think he's two, I think he's just under two. So they have like a young boy and a baby. So she had her hands full, um, really. So, you know, I spoke to her for a bit and then everyone was kind of getting coffees and I sat down to feed Margot um, and then it, this woman came over literally a guardian angel absolutely saved my day uh, and she came over and was just making conversation and, and she went have you been to many play groups then and I was like well to be honest I've had a bit of like I've had a bit of a nightmare I've kind of chickened out of them so far 
And she went, no, I completely get it. She said, you know, I've had, I think she said she had three children. Um, and she said, and you know, it's obviously now it's my job um, as a nanny. Um, so she said, I feel a lot more confident going, but when I was a mum and first going, like I found it really intimidating. Uh, that's why I wanted to come over and speak to you. You know, once you've made that connection, you'll feel, feel absolutely fine. She told me about other play groups that I run that are really good. So, so yeah, so, so that was really good. And now I'm actually, I'm definitely gonna go to one of the ones she said. I'm excited to go back now I know somebody and, and yeah, so it really, like, it, with playgroup, it just, why don't more people do that? Like, I 100%, if a new person walked in, I would go up to them and say, hi, I'm Sophie, like, nice to meet you, I know this is scary. Because it is so scary walking into playgroups on your own. So why don't people do that? Like, I feel like people, a lot of the time, look at you, like, in their own little groups. But anyway, so, the stories of my first attempts with playgroup... I approached it with so much, um, like, oomph. I was like, yeah, absolutely got this, not an issue, got a smash play group, um, checked the list, see which ones were on, found out which one was on that day, got ready, went down there, parked, walked in, full of confidence, put my £2.50 in the box, looked around the room and thought, Jesus Christ, there is a lot of people here. Um, so I thought, okay, I'm just going to scope the room out. So I walked to the back, took my coat off, and was taking Margot's coat off, you know, really slowly so I could just, you know, get the feel of the room. And, yeah, it was, there wasn't really, everyone was in groups. So everyone was, like, just sat in groups, kind of facing each other. Um, and a lot of the children were older. So there was only one little group with babies. So I took Margot out of the car seat and they were like babies, but they were like, they were like maybe seven months plus, probably older actually. Yeah, probably older, maybe nine months plus. Um, so I thought, well, I'm going to approach them. I think it was four months then, it was about a month ago. I went over to them um, and I, I was just going to get a little toy. There was like a box with toys and I thought, well, I'll get a toy out and then, you know, I can you know interact with them. Um, and I, she didn't do it on purpose, but, well, I don't think she did, but I went to get a toy out of the box and this woman, like, turned her back to me, so I couldn't really get into the group, so I absolutely jibbed it, walked back over, put mine and Margot's coat back on, put her in the car seat and just, like, rushed back out and got in the car and thought, oh my god, I can't believe I've just done that, but that was my attempt one. And then I didn't go for like three weeks. I was like, no, I can't do this. And then I had my little list of what was on each day. And I thought, okay, well, the issue was that they were too old. So I'm going to find a baby group. So the only one on the list for that day was baby yoga. That actually said baby in it. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go to that one. I messaged my friend who's got a baby as well. Said, let's go to this class. Will you come with me? And she said, yes. Bear in mind, this is literally like five minutes from my house. And she lives like the other end of the island. I got there and then I messaged her. I was sent her a voice note when I was in voice saying, I'm on my way, I'm running a bit late. Um, obviously, because it's me, she's like so organized as well. I've only met her recently, but she's just like on the ball, like it's crazy. Um, I am 15 minutes late, waiting for my friend who's also coming with her baby, you know, because we're gonna go together so we're not on our own. But she's not, here, she's not here yet. And, I don't think she's getting my messages because maybe she's either already in there or she's late too and she's driving and that's why she can't answer. But what if she's in there and it's already started and that's why she's not answering the messages? But I'm too scared to go in on my own after last time. And it's actually 18 minutes past, so I don't want to walk in 20 minutes late on my own. Fuck. I think I failed play group again. So I was like, okay, she's probably on her way, so maybe I should just wait because I don't want to walk in and her not be there. I'm walking on my own. Yeah, I missed the whole thing. She'd gone in and had a great time at baby yoga. And I missed it. So, yeah. So now, oh, and then, and then, when I smashed playgroup yesterday. I did it. I did playgroup. Obviously, because of these dramas, I thought... 
I'll book in for a class and if I book in I'll have to go and I found this one called Baby French on Instagram um, in Jersey and booked in for it and it was the first day of a new term so everyone was new went yesterday it was so much fun I mean baby groups are weird like I know I think when you don't know anyone and you've got to sit there and like sing nursery rhymes and stuff like it's a little bit orcs. Um but you know everyone was really lovely um, and yeah and because everyone was new everyone's like you know everyone's in the same boat so it was really nice and a lot of them were young like baby babies so it was nice for Margot because of the age thing I do think matters because you want them to she's not interested you know if like there's a kid running around she, she wants to feel a baby's face <laughs> that I let her like go around feeling baby's faces before everyone like runs away from me with your baby <laughs> so that was really fun um, and then this today, yeah, so my playgroup journey, turning around, we're getting there. I think it's just so important to find the right ones and like that experience could have just put me off completely. So I think if you have got a bad experience of playgroup, try again and try one that's, you know, age appropriate, go with somebody, you know, book into one. Yeah. So that's that. Okay, just a little side note, something I am so proud of, like everyone commented on it here today and everyone always comments on it, how smiley Margot is. Literally everyone says it, that they've never seen such a smiley baby and it just makes me so happy. I love her smile so much. But it's just every time you meet someone new and they say it and I'm like, oh, she really is a smiley baby, she's so smiley. <laughs>